Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Technic Let's Play. This is Season 5, Part 58. And I've done a couple of things off fraps, and I just want to do this video uh, to start off with. Just to let you know what I've done. Um, I have set up... Actually, I'm not quite sure what I've done. Uh, oh yeah, okay, now I remember. I have set up the electric furnace on the alternate route um, to accept iron ingots for the refined iron and bronze dust to obviously make bronze uh, i've set up the macerator to to take uh coal for coal dust copper and tin for uh for the dust so you can put it so i can put it together and make bronze i've also put cobblestone in here and, and i'll explain that uh right well i was gonna say i was gonna explain that in, in a minute but i'll explain it right now um, for this recipe, I am going to need, uh, sand. Now, the problem with sand is, on my main route, as you can see right here, I have sand being turned into glass. So, any sand in that, uh, in that setup is going to be instantly turned into glass. Um, there's no way for me to hold sand. I mean, I could put another chest out and, oops, forget that. Oh, one second, I gotta work with some alarms here. I didn't. I have like extra alarms on my phone to make sure I get up on time. It's three o'clock in the morning right now, so I make I make sure like I get up on time. So that was one of those alarms. I just turned off the rest. I have multiple ones. I can't be late for work. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. Um, I guess I could put a separate chest in that room where my uh, my drop off chests are and just have a bunch of sand in there. But that's kind of you know stupid. Um. Now how to work around that because anything in the main system is going to get turned into glass automatically there's no way around that um so i have a second system but where am i going to keep the the sand well the brilliant thing is when you macerate cobblestone it turns into sand so basically once i put cobblestone in the alternate route it's going to eventually be turned into sand and after that the sand is going to be pulled out and used for this recipe for Whatever that is, though I think that's for the boule stuff, which eventually makes uh, silicon wafers. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice system there. So, all right. So what am I doing with the copper and tin dust uh, in this setup? Because again, I can't put that in the other in the main setup because it's going to automatically be smelted. So over here, I have an alternate route crafting tables, which I don't think I'm going to need a lot of these, but I'm going to need one for sure to make the bronze dust and um, again I couldn't put this in the main uh, route because this copper and, and tin would be smelted it wouldn't be you know put made in the bronze dust <laughs> so once I come over here basically what I would do is I would come over to the main chest I would request let's do it right now just to show you how this setup would work up to this point I would request my copper and 10 again uh you only need um one tin to every three copper so if i got 10 that means i only need three three no three would be for nine let's just get four so you get 10 and four and then i would come over to my alternate uh this is the alt route drop off and this is the main drop off. So, alt route drop off. As you can see, the stuff's being taken up. I would put the copper and the tin in here. It would go through the system and come out as copper dust and tin dust. So, when I have that dust in there, I can. I have a request pipe right here. By the way, you can have a pipe pulling stuff out and have a request pipe in here, and they actually work together just fine, which is pretty cool. Um, so, I'd come over to request pipe. I would request the bronze dust. I'd request a lot, and it would say missing copper and tin. Then I would request a little less. And there we go. Can we request one more? Yep. Actually, I could just do it one at a time. And then eventually, it would come through. It, it took out all the copper and tin. And any second now, will come bronze dust. And the bronze dust is being taken out right away. And it's being smelted into bronze ore. By the way, I do not have a lot of refined iron in there. Actually, the refined iron would be take would, would be taken out and put in this chest anyway. Put 
somewhere. Put a bunch of cobblestone in there, see what happens to it. Uh, obviously, I have my uh, coal here, which being turned into coal dust. It's not being turned into anything right now, though, because the uh, copper and tin are still being macerated. That's a lot of tin. Let's take out some of that tin. We don't need all that tin. Alright, so there's the uh, bronze. Actually, we do need the tin, don't we? Oh, that's... In there. Oh, I just figured out a um, problem with this system. Tin is used to macerate, but it's also used for... Oh, okay. Alright, so tin, you need tin, bronze, and refined iron to make the mixed metal ingots, which is the next part of the step. I can't put tin in here, though, because the second I put tin in, it's going to be macerated. Well, I mean, uh, it's yeah, it's going to be macerated. So, the the mixed metal ingot system has to be in the in uh, the main route. It can't be in the secondary route, because that tin is being macerated. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so let's take, so that's fine, let's take some tin out. Oh, copper dust. All right, we'll leave it the way it is. So tin needs to be in this one. Oh, we should have some tin already. So what I would do then is I would take out any bronze uh, and refined iron because bronze and refined iron might be in here. Uh, the refined iron looks like it's been taken out. So I would take the bronze and I would put the bronze in the main route. I know this is getting a little complicated, but it's it makes sense in my brain. I'm trying to explain it to you guys so it's not like, you know, confusing. I don't know why there's bronze dust bronze dust in here. The bronze dust should be in here. So I would come over here and I would put any did I put, yeah, the bronze is going in there, so it's being in the main system, which is good. So I'd come over here and then I would look for the mixed metal ingots which are right here, and I would just make as many as I can. Oh, jeez, I can make a lot. And you just make as many as you can. <laughs> there we go. And then we just wait here for the mixed metal ingots. Now, the mixed metal ingots need to be compressed, and I think it's in the main system with the compressor. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think I have another. I don't even have another compressor. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. Mixed metal ingots. I also set up raw copper mesh. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, by the way, uh, I made this electronic furnace and macerator off fraps. Like I said, I was going to, just so you know, in case you're wondering where those came from. I didn't set up a crafting bench for it because, you know, like I said before, you're not, I'm not going to be making a ton of those, so it's not really needed. Uh, why is there bronze in here? I might have got confused and put bronze in there thinking that it's a drop-off chest. This is still a little confusing for me, but that's okay. Let's go right there. Alright, so, mixed metal ingots, again, will be, uh, will be cooked in my main set up so it will go there and uh, I'm gonna let those be taken out and uh, I, gotta, I need a quick AFK so I will be right back uh, one sec I need to start, find my alarm okay be right back all right I'm back and uh, yeah so that sh stuff should all be taken out and now should be in the system as actually it should be taken out and cooked right away um, and it should be in the system now as advanced alloys, if I've done everything correctly. Yep, there they are. 16 advanced alloys. We've got no mixed metal ingots. Uh, wait, what did I just call? Yeah, let's call all of them. Six of bronze. Okay. Called more than one, didn't I? Oh, there we go. There's some more. See, I really, I really like this crafting uh, off of fraps thing. 
Um, I'm not going to do it a lot, but the fact of the matter is I made so many videos yesterday that, um, that I, uh, I had, like, too many videos. I had to start rendering them, but I also wanted to play. So, you know, I figured I would do this stuff and then I would uh, make a video explaining it because it would have taken me, like, five to show you. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do that all the time, but, you know, sometimes. All right. Oh, wow. Nice. So that, this actually has a lot of mix. I'm going to have a lot of advanced alloys, which is good because I'm going to... The thing is, I need the advanced alloys for the glass. Uh, the reinforced glass I'm going to use in here. That's what this is all about. Um, okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is... Let me think. Okay, so I have coal coming into the macerator. And that comes out as coal dust. Um, do I have a recipe for the coal dust? I'm wondering. I think I might. Oh, there's the mixed metal ingots. Oh, I also set up a recipe for MK3s. Uh, I set up a recipe for the iron furnace, which is what I need for the for the uh, macerator and stuff. I set up one for electron electric circuit. I don't know if I did this in front of... I, I don't know if I did this on FRAP, so I'm just going to show you. Copper cables. Uh, passive supply module. I'm pretty sure I showed you the red alloy and get one. Um, I thought I set one up for the coal dust. But now I don't see it, so maybe I didn't. Um, honestly, there's no reason to set it up, because it doesn't take a crafting table. I could do it right here. And the fact of the matter is, if I was going to go bring the dusts and put it into the main thing, and then... Although I could... Yeah. For me to, like, use the dust and use a request pipe for it is kind of, like, stupid. So what I would do is I would take the coal dust here. Very simple. Boom. 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 Done. Boom. Done. And then I would put this back in the system. Although I don't know what system it's in. I don't know if it's in the alternate route or the main route. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's in the main route because it goes in the compressor. Yeah. Okay, main route, compressor. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about, like, off fraps making a list of what goes in the alternate route and leaving it on the wall just so I know. But, I don't know. I'll probably get used to it. So this is going the alternate route. I mean the main route. And there it goes. And in the main route, it will be cooked into the final product. Or not cooked, but compressed. Actually, it won't be compressed because the other stuff's being compressed. But eventually it will be compressed into the final product. Which is raw carbon something. I forget what. Let's see. Yeah, carbon plate. The raw carbon mesh will be cooked into the car will be compressed into the carbon plate, and that's it, guys. Um, I now have a full functioning system that will make the the plate and the advanced alloy, which is what I need for my rotary macerator. See, and the induction furnace, and the reinforced glass, which I can make some right now. Hey, man, I got some time left on the video. I might as well make some right now, right? All right. So let's let's get some advanced alloys and some glass. Got like 600 glass now. All right, there we go. The only thing I wish, I wish these, uh, these pipes would do, these logistics pipes, is pull out stacks at a time. If anyone knows a way for me to pull out stacks at a time, that wouldn't, like, be a big, like, annoyance on me building my system, let me know. Because I, I really appreciate that. Actually, let me make a, a crafting recipe for this. Mm. No more crafting tables, huh? Okay, one more. Good. Mm, like that. Probably shouldn't ask for so much glass. Kind of pointless. I didn't think to make a crafting recipe for it for some reason. It's 3 in the morning. I'm a little, you know, out of it. There we go. It's a weird number to get 7. It's kind of odd. So 
So what should happen over here is when I come back later, uh, this should be, you know, this cobblestone should be just replaced with, uh, sand. Really cool. I'm, I'm kind of... I don't, I don't want to say impressed, but I'm a little bit impressed at myself that I figured that out, like, on my own, like... I don't usually figure stuff out like that, but it's eh, pretty cool. Alright, I guess... I guess I'm in the zone. Alright, where's that reinforced glass? There it is. There we go. Actually, I wonder if that's going to get jammed. Let's see. Nope. It's not. It's... It's done already? Oh, because I asked for 20, so 7 would only be like 2. Well, 3, and then the, the rest would go in the... Okay. Never mind. Alright. So, reinforce glass. Let's start putting some up. I'm sick of holes being in the walls. Yeah. Looks good. Alright, let's go get some more. This factory's like almost done done. Actually, we're going to need quite a bit of this. Let's get, like, a stack. Okay, a bunch of copper. The tin's going to be, uh, done next, so we should have, uh, enough to make some bronze later. Um, got some more coal in there. It's good. It's good. I like, uh... I like the way everything's working out. The system's working well. Come back and get the rest in a minute. This glass is really hard to, like, break. And, um... And, uh, on top of that, you don't get the glass back when you break it, so... And it's, you know... Well, I would say this glass is quite expensive to make, and if you were doing it by hand, it would be. Not so much in materials, but more so in time. But with my system... Pff, piece of cake. Although it's not completely automated, I could make a completely automated system for this. Uh, maybe not so much for the glass, but I can make a completely auto... Well, actually, I probably could... I could probably make a completely automated system to make the advanced alloys. As a matter of fact, I have before. It's not that hard. Uh, the problem it was it would take uh, it would it would I would usually use energy collectors for it. Um, but since I'm not allowed to use those, I could probably set one up using a blaze rod farm. But there's really no need. I'm not gonna, you know, it's it's automated enough. I don't you know, I I don't want it to be completely automated. I mean, uh, I guess. I don't know. Some stuff I do want to be completely automated, but if it's not all completely automated, that's fine with me. Because I do want to do some things, you know, by hand, or else, you know, what's the point of playing the game? I don't know what I would need a lot of uh, advanced alloy for, but if I needed it for a lot of stuff, like, uh, on my last world, I was going to make my entire base, uh, my entire mining our factory system out of uh, the advanced alloy stuff that makes the, uh, the, I forget what it's called, this stuff, I was going to reinforce stone, then I would have needed a lot more, but I'm not going to do that here, so, if I, basically, if I needed a lot more, I would, I might set up an automated system, but, fact is, I could, uh, I just don't, maybe I'll do a tips, tricks, and tutorials one day, and show you how I did it. There's my timer. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna be late for work, so let me uh, <clears throat> let me call this one here. I'm not gonna finish this glass. I was gonna make the video a little longer, but again, gonna be a little late. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for part 
58, and I'll see you next time, part 59. Till then, take it easy.